back with another video. So today's video, I'm going to be doing the squishies I regret buying. I'm grateful for every single one of the squishies that I have. It's just some of them that I bought it kind of felt like it was a waste of money because I take time saving up for that squishy and then I buy it and then it doesn't meet my expectations. So I'm basically just going to be showing you guys those squishies. Anyways, let's go ahead and get on with the video. So the first squishy and probably one of the most surprising squishies is this avocado by Fat Paw Paw. And like when I saw this online, I thought, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I need to buy it. It's just not that great. I know a lot of you guys are probably screaming at me through the computer or phone screen, whatever you're watching this video on, thinking, why the heck would that be a waste of money? And then other people are thinking, oh, that's so tiny. Of course it's a waste of money. Everybody has a different thought about the squishy. I just think there's not many places to squish it other than the seed right here. And it's not really that soft. And I do not remember how much this cost, but I will put it on the screen. It was expensive. It's really cute, don't get me wrong, it is so freaking cute. It's just not very squishy, not really fun to squish. I feel like the only kind of fun place to squish it is the seed and that, I don't know. It's fine, like, I still really like this one, like, I wouldn't give it away or anything, I still want to keep it, it's just like... I don't know, it's, it's not an amazing squishy. The next squishy and the probably most surprising one out of this whole video is this Eye Bloom Panda. The reason why I regret buying this one is because, so if you guys own an Eye Bloom Squishy, you know how they have this unique texture that's amazing. It's like butter, it's sticky, it's soft, it's slow rising. But this one, it doesn't feel like that. It feels like you're squishing a common squishy. If any of you guys out there have a Panda Bun Squishy, that's kind of what the squishy feels like. I know panda buns all have different textures, but some are more slow rising than others, but this just feels like a panda bun squishy. This was originally $20, I bought it for $10, which is still a pretty good deal for an eye bloom squishy, especially this size, but it's still a regret, like it's still a waste of money in my opinion. It smells like chemicals. It's super duper cute. A lot of these squishies are really cute, but they're just, not very squishy. Next squishy are the reproduced Hello Kitty donuts. I think I bought this for 16 bucks. And it's a reproduced one, so it's not rare. Well, I mean, it was made in 2015. It's just not squishy at all. It's super duper cute. Like I keep saying about every single squishy, it's super cute. It's just not squishy. Sorry, Hello Kitty Donut! <gasps> oh my gosh! So I threw the Hello Kitty Donut on the ground. It happened to hit a cup and spill it. <laughs> Next squishy is this Claire's Waffle. And at first, I really loved this squishy. At first, I loved this squishy, but this was $10. And there's just nothing. Oh my gosh, what's up with the quality? Come on, come on. Why? Okay, you know what? I'm turning down the light. I'm turning down the light just for the sake of the squishy. I promise I will turn it back up in a few minutes. It's just, there's nothing really amazing to the squishy. It's not very attractive looking. Oops. I know if you like it, that's totally fine. If you have it and you love it, I'm not trying to hate on you. I just would not want to spend 10 bucks on it. Next squishy is this Eye Bloom Tanker. This was $20. Yeah, that's worth every penny. This was in my last Squishies I Regret buying, buying YouTube video. And it gets defects so quickly. And I know I'm making it worse by stretching it, but honestly, I don't care anymore. It's sad. I might as well throw this away. I honestly don't know why I kept it for two more years after it got so many defects, but it just... I don't recommend the eye bloom tankers. Next squishy is this Sammy Cream Puff. There's nothing much to say about the squishy. I spent $9 on it and it's the same thing with the Hello Kitty Donut. Too much money, not even squishy. This is not even licensed, so I don't even know if it's the real one, but look at all those defects. Look at all those defects. Next, I'm just gonna show these two. Um, we have this 
Hello Kitty ice cream. It's the same thing with this one. The paint was literally chipping off, so I just ripped it off because it was already chipping off. This top used to be like have pink in it, and this was all pink, and all of it just chipped. Well, I kind of did part of it, but um, it was already chipping, so I'm like, you know what? Screw this. I chipped it all off. Next is the Rilakkuma cupcake. I bought this when I was new to squishy collecting, and it's just not very squishy. It's super, super cute. It's not worth $12, I think it was, which is crazy for how not even squishy this is. That is it for the squishies I regret buying. And again, I'm so grateful for all of these squishies. I'm so happy to have them. I just wish I'd used that money to buy something else. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. And make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want more squishy videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hello.